All right, we're uh, 10 minutes out from the show. There's a new truth out from President Trump. Can it be true that Liz Cheney is down to a mere 15%? I got to wonder. I mean, he never, t- you know, d- he tweeted for himself. I got to wonder if he truths for himself. Is there. Oh, my God. Does, does he actually send these? Is this him? That's him. That's him. him. When you want to know who now, sends. If you see it with pictures, it's yeah. probably not him because I can't get him to put pictures with his, okay. with his truth. But he, but he runs them all. I mean, okay. he tells people what to send out. And he's doing most of them himself. All right. It's phenomenal. Well, here we go. We got the man telling us how Truth Social works. Thanks for being on the show tonight. Great to be with Sean. Oh my God, oh my God. So uh, Sean Spicer is super excited about these truths that he's seeing on his phone. Oh, and wait a second, Devin Nunes. Oh man, this is the, the, one of the guys who runs Truth Social, he happens to be standing right next to me in our studios and in our offices. This is so weird, Devin. You have nothing else to do except promote Truth Social. Thanks for coming on the show, by the way. Oh my God. No, uh, first off, I don't think they even think anyone's buying this. But why do it then? They just. I know, reset, do something different here. But either way it goes, Devin Nunes has been continuing to try to push truth social, especially as Elon Musk has gotten all this attention surrounding Twitter. But they definitely want, they think this is something they can push to make truth social finally, finally, and finally take off because it just hasn't really been there. So mentioning as far as Trump using these truths instead of Twitter, let's get into more details of that versus what he might do. If Elon lets him back onto Twitter. So even if Elon Musk brings Trump back to Twitter, the former president has agreed to post on Truth Social first, according to regulatory filing from Digital World Acquisition Group on Monday. So this filing with the, with the SEC said that Trump can publish the same content on other platforms. Listen to this, but he must wait at least six hours after posting it on Truth Social. The policy does not apply to political messaging, which includes fundraisers, messaging on voting information, meaning that any messaging around a potential 24 presidential run would not be constrained to this six hour time policy. And CNBC was the first to report about this whole thing. So Digital World Acquisition Group, if you're wondering who that is, they're a shell company that's working to take Trump media and technology and its subsidiary Truth Social Public. And he said they said that the six hour policy gives the app quote limited time to benefit from his posts. And followers may not find it compelling to use Truth Social to read his posts that quickly. So, first of all, uh, uh, number one, there, there's this policy somehow connected with the SEC that is going to ban, I guess, just Trump or anyone else. I'm not sure. If you post on Truth, you have to wait six hours because we have to generate some kind of energy and attention that apparently doesn't involve Sean Spicer acting like he just saw the best tweet of his life. I'm sorry, truth of his life. Uh, first thoughts on that, Adrian, because there's more to this. Well, you know, it's one of those things that I'm just mm, maybe tired of Sean Spicer because really also who gets really excited and jazzed to have a jackass <laughs> in their presence? Like get out of here, like Devin Nunes is really doing something. And this true social app, we all know it's a joke, it's not going far. And the thing is they do want as much attention as possible and just like Elon Musk who you know created all of this havoc just so he could have a moment in the limelight because being the world's richest man isn't enough for him. But at the end of the day, when it comes to Devin Nunes, Spicer and all of the GOP Trump thumpers. It's just a matter of can't they just sit down and be quiet because we do not want to hear from them or even deal with them, yet we still continue to. It is just, it's appalling. At the end of the day, after all this, you know what we've seen is it's constant selling of things. The other day we did a, a, a Kimberly Guilfoyle was standing over a grill inside of an indoor room, <laughs> grilling steaks because she's pushing new steaks. Uh, Devin Nunes quit his job in Congress because he probably would have been voted out eventually. Um, he went and took over Truth Social to push this next thing, and it's been their life's goal to sell and sell and sell and sell. The whole point of the presidency that Donald Trump fell into apparently was to sell more things. Selling truth social, separating from Twitter, except when Twitter and Elon Musk promises to have him back, which that still isn't a definite thing either. I'm not sure how much money these followers have left to keep spreading as all these BS things. But that's all that they're providing. That's all that they're offering to these folks. Um, so just with another cringy way of doing it, I, I almost want to watch it again, but I don't want to put you guys through that. 